Qualitative and Quantitative Innovative Research Optimization Explaining the Tri-Squared Test What is the Tri-Squared Test? Tri-Squared or Tri-Squared comprehensively stands for the Total Transformative Trichotomous Squared Test or Trichotomy Squared Simplified into Tri-Squared. It is based on the mathematical law of trichotomy. The Total Transformative Formative trichotomous squared test provides a methodology for the transformation of research outcomes from qualitative research into measurable quantitative values that can be used to test research questions and the validity of research hypotheses. The advantage of this research procedure is that it is a comprehensive holistic testing methodology that is designed to be a static or fixed way of holistically measuring trichotomous categorical variables directly applicable to educational and social behavioral environments where the established methods of peer experimental designs are easily violated and may not conform to the protocols required in those particular environments. The unchanging base of the tri-squared test is the standard 3x3 three three tri-squared table based off of the established trichotomous categorical and respective trichotomous outcome variables. The emphasis on three distinctive trichotomous categorical and their respective outcome variables provides a thorough, rigorous robustness to the test that yields enough outcomes to determine if differences truly exist in the research environment in which the actual investigation is taking place. A simple set of terms related to the tri-squared test. The most basic terms related to the tri-squared test are 1. Trichotomy 2. Trichotomous categorical variables 3. Trichotomous outcome variable 4. Standard 3x3 three three table 5. Tri-squared calculation 6. Inventive investigative instrument 7 qualitative research, eight quantitative research, and nine transformation of data. What is the foundation of the tri-squared test? Tri-squared is grounded in the combination uh, and application of the research of three mathematical research pioneers, Ab, Brevet, and Osler. The foundation of tri-squared includes the mathematical research investigations of optical pioneer Ernest Ab, who derived the distribution that would later become known as a chi-square distribution by other statistical researchers and educational psychology investigators. The original research mathematician of mathematician August Brevet, who pioneered the initial mathematical formula for correlation, also further advanced by other statisticians in his research on observational errors, and the in-depth research of James E. Osler II, who's providing this video, in the arena of quantitative educational science. What is trichotomy? The term trichotomy, as it is pronounced trichotomy, has the following threefold definitions. One, separation or division into three distinct parts, kinds, groups, or units. Subdivision, classification of some whole into three equal sections. Categorization, categorization or division into three mutually excuse, exclusive, opposed, or contradictory groups. An example is given here of a, a trichotomy between thought, emotions, and actions. Then what is the mathematical law of trichotomy? In terms of mathematics, mathematician and mathematical researcher Tom Michael Postle in his 1967 book on calculus defined the law of trichotomy as follows. Every real number is negative, an empty set, or positive. The law is sometimes stated as for arbitrary real numbers A and B, exactly one of the relations holds true. A is less than B, A is equal to B, and or A is greater than B holds. In the case of the tri-squared test, the term trichotomy refers to the threefold independent areas of analysis that are represented by the three tri-squared categorical and outcome variables. What is a statistically fixed test? A statistically fixed test is quite simply a test in which statistics 
and or the operational parameters of those statistics never change or always re remain the same. In the case of the tri-squared test, it is always going to have three categorical and outcome variables due to the mathematical law of trichotomy. What is research effect size? In statistics, an effect size is a quantitative measure of the size of the difference between groups. It can be applied to any measured outcome in education or social science. It is particularly valuable for quantifying the effectiveness of a particular intervention relative to some established comparison. In the case of the tri-squared test, it has been mathematically factored into the research procedures to establish interval ranges for sample sizes. Here's an example of the tri-squared test probability distribution table. And you will see here is the tri-squared mean, the alpha level, but here the tri-squared effect size has small intervals, medium intervals, or large intervals. Due to the degrees of freedom, which is always four, because tri the tri-squared test is a static fixed test, the interval and sample sizes have ranges as that can be seen here. So depending on the number of research participants, you fall into that range, which has a set alpha level for that size of the fixed test, and therefore a given calculated value, uh, critical value, that your calculated value must be greater than to establish enough evidence to safely reject the null hypothesis. What is an alpha level? In statistical terms, the alpha level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. In other words, it is simply the likelihood of making a wrong decision in terms of the null hypothesis, the inability to reject it. Here, as we see, once again, on the tri-squared test probability distribution table, are the alpha levels given here that are set by sample size so once you have your n try or the number of participants in your sample, you have the given alpha level associated with that sample according to its effect size and the given critical value. Again, these are the alpha levels. What are degrees of freedom? The degrees of freedom is a calculated number that is a mathematical measure of how many values can vary in a given statistical calculation. They are regularly calculated as a part of statistical tests and in the determination of a hypothesis test critical value. In the case of our statistically fixed or unchanging tri-squared tests, the degrees of freedom will always be the number of columns minus one and the number of rows minus, ones and minus one. Because we have three columns and three rows, it is then two times two or four. It is always going to be four because it is a statistically fixed or unchanging test, thereby allowing a table of critical values, as we have just seen, to be created based off of alpha level, effect size, and the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis. How does the tri-squared test allow me to create my own inventive investigative instruments? The creation, evaluation, and assessment of inventive investigative instruments is a part of the tri-squared test. The creation of these instruments allows the researcher to build specific assessments that are designed to explore a variety of, of er areas or arenas. The tri-squared test statistically determines the viability and generalizability of trichotomously designed inventive investigative instruments according to the, law, the mathematical law of trichotomy. The construction methodologies of these instruments is shown now. So A1, A2, and A3 correspond to your trichotomous categorical variables and are broken down in A through I, in these items here. B1, B2, and B3 are your categorical uh, outcome variables. Excuse me, these are your categorical variables. These are your trichotomous outcome variables. So it could be yes, no, no opinion that are related here. This would be the name. An op optional asset security applies to the given copyright or trademark for the instruments. There can, of course, be a battery of instruments and many different types of instruments that can be created using the tri-squared test. What are the limits of the tri-squared test? 
The tri-square test is limited by the mathematical law of trichotomy, which provides the foundation of the tri-square research methodology as a statistically fixed test that analyzes trichotomous categorical and outcome variables and the tri-square test calculation provided here. That is designed to transform trichotomous qualitative data into trichotomous quantitative data. What are trichotomous categorical variables? As mentioned earlier, within the operational parameters of the tri-square test, the statistical trichotomous categorical variables are the three mutually exclusive, exclusive researcher identified areas under investigation. These areas are holistically about a particular researchable arena, yet they are also trichotomously different and identified in the researcher designed inventive investigative instrument. That being the case with the trichotomous outcome variables. Within the operational parameters of the tri-squared test, the statistical trichotomous outcome variables are the three mutually exclusive researcher identified responses, responses that are trichotomously different and, and identified in the researcher designed inventive investigative instrument. Could be yes, no, no opinion, hot, cold, warm, lukewarm, could be anything that goes into three. We find that in nature, most things are grouped in threes, which makes this a very powerful statistic in terms of its trichotomy. What is the standard 3x3 three three tri-squared test table? Here we see a standard 3x3 three three trichotomous table. Here we see categorical variables A1, A2, A3, and then outcome variables B1, B2, B3, and as the responses from the inventive investigative instrument are tally, they would appear here. This is the standard table that appears in all reported tri-squared research. How does the tri-squared test work? In the following, we have a survey in which flavors of ice cream are given as chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and the responses are yes, no, and no opinion. They are tallied and reported qualitatively from a research investigative instrument as follows, 6800010531. As the tri-squared test is calculated, you are, they are counted across down columns and across rows to get these outcome values. From the tallying of those outcome var values, a quantitative table is derived that is the transformation of the initial qualitative data taken from the research inventive investigative instrument and is now reported in a separate table. To derive this, the row total summations are multiplied by the to column total summations and divided by the grand total for each of the respective cells of the 3x3 three three standard tri-squared table. The results are reported as seen in this 3x3 three three table of quantitative results derived from the qualitative outcomes. 4.67 across, 3.34 across, and 3 across. This is the tri-squared test calculation that was reported earlier. And it goes into effect in the following manner. Where each of the qualitative values are seen, their respective quantitative outcomes subtracted from them, they are squared and they're divided by that same outcome and they're added together to give us our final calculated value of 30.048 which would be greater than if this was an n of 17 for this particular test our critical value to re safely reject the null hypothesis and here we would see that would be 4.484 at an alpha level of 9.75 which is definitely much greater than our calcul uh, much less than our calculated value of 30 once again, we're able to see our interval levels here. It's 9.75 and an N of 17. Can tri-square be used with other data? Yes, the operational parameters of the tri-square test allow it to be used with a variety of data and research experiments once the researcher reduces the data and or results into statistical trichotomous categorical and outcome variables, thereby following the mathematical law of trichotomy and the tri-squared research design methodology at any stage of the research 
design. And this concludes a general synopsis of the tri-square